Welcome to my robot room where I have a large display of vintage toy robots and a lot of robots I work on as well. Give you a quick pan around the room just to let you know that robots really are tucked into every nook and cranny. A lot of clocks on the wall too, sort of a little Geppetto workshop going on here as well. Uh, let's just start right over here. Here's some early dingling robots. These are ones you snap a motorized power pack onto to keep them moving. Sharper image boxing robots. There's a big track with a Titan tumbling robot sitting on top. Uh, Robbie the Robot's right there. Moving on to the Lost in Space collection. Those two tall uh, mismatched color ones are the Remco 1966 version. Odd ducks, but they're actually kind of valuable. As is the uh, the gray one back there with the green dome. Azrak Hamway, about 1977. Pretty collectible. Uh, some of the more recent Lost in Space movie robots. There's Remco. Uh, Tobor. That Alps guy there, the green guy with the TV in his chest. Alps television robot. Pretty collectible right there. And let's see, just some, uh, some more recent ones. Those two Compi robots are in the middle of the gray and the white one. Two identical ones there other than color. Early programmable robots. And then here's actually down here, there's a CompuBot 3. Um, let's see, while we're down here, another Lost in Space robot. Keep on. We'll come back to this. There's the Parallax Stingray. Robot under construction. Wooden dino time. Okay, continuing on up top. Let's see. Another TV robot right there. More recent vintage. Two ideal Rembrandt drawing robots. Cam controlled. Let's see. There's a that red robot in the middle. That's a bad foot. One of the Zoids. About 1980s. Very interesting walking style. Actually leans and picks its feet up. Moves around. Let's see. Kind of coming over here. Here's a whole Wowie Robo Sapien and Robo Dinosaur collection. Moving down, a bunch of R2-D2s. Let's see some other robots. There's an Icebe, little dog robot there, that blue guy there. Early uh, ideal Rudy the Robot, probably 1970s vintage. Very early wind-up walking Mickey. Right next door to that, wow, big Hitachi industrial robot arm. With a couple of my interesting walking uh, eBay robots on top of that. Kind of a bunch of those kind of strange... Uh, Kid, kid operated claws back over there. Let's see, there's two scribblers stacked up waiting for something good to happen. There's a scribbler two and another blue scribbler underneath there. Here are some of my uh, home built robots. Oh, there's a parallax bobot on top waving the flag. Here's a robot built, sort of a walking trash can, kind of interesting right there. Wooden robot arm kit assembled, five axis robot arm behind there. Let's see, underneath there, there's a mechanum robot platform. See two uh, two retro bots there, sort of dead reckoning platforms. Pretty good at that. Let's see. Here's a bunch of robots sitting on top of my Towers of Hanoi arm. Um, a lot of good stuff going on there. Another Wowie Tribot there. There's my uh, balancing robot. Okay, moving on over here. Let's see. Here's a pretty cool bot. Uh, thanks to Brendan V for this. That's a clear Armatron. You can see all the parts and gears inside there. Uh, 1980s vintage Tomy product. This is a rare one, uh, transparent. You can see all the parts inside. Sort of meandered my way through the toy biz. Here's two bots I built for the uh, Trinity Home Firefighting Robot Collection. The one on the right, flying the Hot Wheels colors, looks sleeker, but the uh, <clears throat> the ugly duckling behind it is actually the one that won the very first Trinity Home Firefighting Robot Contest about 1994. Up top there, there's a few more robot arms in my collection. Let's see, even an SG-5 sitting on top of my grandfather clock. <laughs> <clears throat> Coming down here, some of the crag stand robots. There's an early Ranger without arms. Ranger with arms there. Mr. Robot back over there. There's a real uh, regular Armatron right there. Mr. Flash there. Another Mr. Flash down there. See, moving back up here, there's a Bobot kit. That red and blue robot, Apollo 2000, one of one of numerous of the Horikawa uh, rotate omatic ones, where it walks for a while, then its chest doors pop open, machine guns pop out. There's a lot more robots. There's some Tomy robots over there, up top. And I'm down uh, down here. There's Omnibot 2000, King wearing the crown, regular Omnibot. Way down on the bottom, let's see. There's Hero Junior and Hero One. Right up there, and finishing off the collection, there's some of the uh, Mr. Machines, or drive me as, drive me as, steer me as fast as you can. 
And that is a quick look at my robot collection and my messy bench where I build them.